Today I'm going to show you how big difference is in the layout between different memory chips and you will see connection stays same, schematic same or very similar but you will see how big difference it is in the layout that's the point why it's always very important to read design guides Cadence Allegro works a little bit different than uh, Altium Designer difference is you select always command first so we are going to assign colors to nets so I will select only net and I would like to use this green color now I would like to see layer 1 ok and select only the data 0 line ok this one we can see it goes to series termination register so we would like to see where it continues so I just click here and uh, we can see it go somewhere here because we would like to see different layer here yeah on this layer it goes to the pin so this is pretty standard data line pin to pin collection that's as we already know it what may be interesting have a look how address line is connected so I will unhighlight this net and I use the highlight command again and I find A8 and I would like to see where it goes so it starts in this pin these are the this is the adra, address line yeah then it goes to termination resistor from the termination resistor it goes into middle of the module in middle of the module it splits so it's T branch topology we already know this topology it splits it goes here and here and there in the middle see in the middle yeah in the middle in the middle it splits again it goes here and here and on the top see on the top it connects to the memory chip yeah same on the other side so this is classic example of the branch topology what is different on DDR3 memory do you know what do you think what could be different I'll show you I opened a DDR3 reference design you know just file open the second module and we are going to have a look how the layout is done here so first data line what we are going to do now select command check if we are highlighting nets select color and select some layers now I find the data line net and highlight it it's here ok and see where it continues there is actually no difference between DDR2 and DDR3 memory in data line connection as you can see it goes from the pin termination resistor 
and to the memory so that's pin to pin connection what is different is the connection of this address line it's not only address line it's whole group commands controls and all this but i will demonstrate it on the address line so have a look i will unhighlight this highlight and let's find a eight okay it looks like it is same it's not can you see difference it goes from the pin here here it change layers it goes on the edge of the memory and then it connects to the first memory chip it continues and it connects to second memory chip see it's not t branch topology it's called flyby topology it continues it connects to the next memory chip to the next memory chip and to the termination so it's completely different but in schematic it is connection of a8 signal to all four memory chips connection is almost same in schematic between ddr2 and ddr3 between this t branch topology and flyby topology but as you can see in layout it is completely different it works completely different way so be very careful read the design guide why to read design guides because i uh, actually i was doing one uh, design one ddr3 design which specifically said use the branch topology so be very careful now you know what's the difference between ddr2 ddr3 layout and we can go back to our hard work <laughs>